Hey there, Harrys. Hope you guys this weekend has been treating you guys well. Appreciate you guys so much. Sorry, I was stretching. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what messages are coming out for your highest good. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries. Tell about Aries, please. Aries. Aries. Heartbreak. Two more. Grief. Cover that up. Guilt. And trapped. Alright, so you got somebody trying to trap you. Trap your butt. Somebody's name starts with a G. These G's are sticking out to me. That could be first, middle, or last initial. Disappointed. Somebody's trying to come in here and trap you, but this is somebody that's let you down and you're not letting this person have access to you anymore. This person likes to put on a whole show of playing the victim when they don't get their way here. It's all about, like, really drawn to the way she's holding your heart. It's like, oh my, like, they just can't make it without you. And, oh, I'm so hurt. It's all about what their feelings. It's something here about how they feel. And they don't um, take into consideration how you felt or feel. It's overall energy for Aries. It's overall energy for Aries, please. Aries. Aries. Are we talking, Aries? Overall energy. Growth. Expanding your consciousness and your awareness. So the more that you grow, the more that it makes it possible for this person to trap you. Keep doing that. Keep expanding your consciousness and your awareness. Keep doing that. And your success here. So no wonder this person wants to, to um, trap you with the success here. This person sees you're on to some good things. And there's definitely somebody's name that starts with a G here. So... You're successful and you're doing awesome and you stepped into this beautiful um, timeline where it's all about elevation and growth and this person's trying to figure out how to pull you back in with all this guilt trip in here. This is about you stepping into this growth and not looking back and not letting this person make you feel any type of way for wanting better for yourself. Don't let anybody talk you out of trying to improve yourself. Make that make sense. Let me get one for Aries. What needs to be surrendered? Surrendering to your silence, exactly. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. So, staying silent. Not everything needs a reaction. Something about this person feeding off a reaction, whether it's good or bad. So, we're going to stay silent. You have got too many good things going on for you right now. The fact that you're wanting to step into your growth and improve and then your success is here you got too much to worry about than dealing with this person surrender comparisons with other people keep your eyes trained on yourself focus on your own strengths attractiveness and power absolutely you are unique you are yourself there's no one else like you so why compare yourself to somebody else i feel like this person was always comparing themselves to other people this person very well pinned you up against other people because it's something here about this person ultimately feeling about themselves that way so they automatically wanted you to feel that way so they would try to compare you like have you comparing yourself to other people this person doesn't feel inadequate for you that's why they did that to you they wanted you to not see your worth they wanted you to doubt yourself me one for aries Aries, thank you. Determination. I am determined to stay on my path. I will let nothing deter me from reaching my goal. That's that success that came out. Continue to move forward. Keep your silence and keep the eyes on the prize. You are going to finish this, whatever you're wanting. You stay on your path, not letting anything knock you off course. I know that's right. Good for you. Tolerance. I am tolerant. I cooperate with others and willingly compromise when it's for the greater good. So this person is trying to get you to tolerate their behavior. So it's like this person was able to get away with their behavior for a while, but then you put your foot down and said you're done with it. Now this person is trying to get you to compromise with them, but there's nothing to be compromised. This person doesn't want to improve themselves. They don't want to change. So they don't get to be part of your life anymore. Forgiveness, but they want the forgiveness by releasing negative emotions and forgiving the past. I am free to live a peaceful, harmonious life. So... We forgive, but we never forget. The forgiveness is for you so you can move forward. So this is about you forgiving yourself for putting up with anything 
that you may have been through in your life, just forgiving yourself for that. And then, yeah, of course, this person wants forgiveness, but the forgiveness is for you so you can set yourself free. A lot of you guys have forgiven this person and moved forward. And if you haven't, then you're being called to do that because it's only going to make room for new things to come into your life, guys. Let's talk about heartbreak. This person's heart broke over you. But this is someone that did this to you. Oh, this person's having sleepless nights over you. This is someone that's able to distract themselves from you during the day. But at nighttime, that's when this person gets haunted. They're all up in their head at nighttime. But this is what you've also come out of too. So this is why you need to acknowledge yourself for the growth that you've went through here. That you went through a lot of many sleepless nights and things yourself. And you're very strong. Get, pat yourself on the back where credit's due, guys. Tell me more about heartbreak. Tell me more about heartbreak. This person's so heartbroken that you've walked away and you're done. This person can't get reactions out of you. Nothing. Like, they're so messed up over that you want to take them back. Oh, this person's feeling the sting of you being gone. But this is somebody that did this to you. What goes around comes back around. That is a thing. You're taking your power back here. You mean business. Look at you. Taking your power back in this fearless energy. Going after what you want. Keeping your silence, focusing on your manifestation. And there is something here about your looks that this person tried to, they, they didn't want you to see how the beauty that you had inside and out were beauty here. This person didn't want you to see this. You are a very attractive, very handsome person. And this person, it's almost like this person didn't feel like they were good enough for you. That's why they wanted to take that from you. But this is you taking your power back now. This person could try to show up to your house. Something here about marriage. This person could be trying to dodge a divorce if somebody's trying to get divorced from this person. This person wants to show up to your house. This person is like, they miss the nurturing side of you. They're not getting that anymore. You are so focused on your growth, your finances, your success. This person's freaking out because you're not even acknowledging them. This person's used to getting reactions and things out of you, and you're not giving them nothing. That's good. Keep doing that. That shows major growth on your guys' part. Good for you guys. Tell me about grief. Those persons, they, they are feeling bad. I mean, they, they miss you. They miss the, the, the fuel that you gave them. Tell me about grief. The more that you manifest whatever your heart's desire, the more this person's going to feel some type of way. It's almost like you can alchemize and turn your pain into power. You turn your pain into profit here. This person tries to manipulate you. They try to paint an illusion, trying to pull you back in, making you feel bad for them. Don't let them do that to you anymore. Tell them about grief. This is about you seeing through these illusions here. Yeah, staying single. Focusing on your growth. Your finances. That's beautiful success that you're manifesting for yourself. So stand in your independence and break away from this person and never look back. That's why they're trying to put on a whole show. Of they're so hurt and broken without you. They could be trying to tell other people how they're so hurt and broken about you. Because there's something here about this person trying to get in the ears of other people that may be close to you. It's like so this person wants to use other people to get to you, if that makes sense. Like, like if you guys have mutual friends or like family members that still may be in contact with this person this person's going around telling everybody this sob story because they're trying to get people to get in your ear to take them back don't let them do that keep holding back keep 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 the silence keep the silence good for you guys this inner strength of leaving this out in the cold and not looking back this is someone that likes to play the victim this is somebody that is lacking and they don't like it that you've pulled yourself out of that lack mindset. This person puts you through a lot, guys. Something here about kids. If you guys have kids together, they can use the kids to try to pull you back into that cycle with them again. This could be a past life lesson needed to be learning. Keeping that silence and stepping into your growth. This is something you could have known from your teenage years. Childhood even. A well, person's trying to talk. See, this person's talking to some people from your past too. There's something about this person either using um, past people that they're trying to get in their ear and talk to other people about you, or there's something about kids here for somebody. But those persons hearing all your forward movement, hearing how good you're doing, and they are trying to get some, um, some 
they're trying to get in someone else's ear so they'll come and talk to you and try to put that pity party and give them that step, trying to get someone else to guilt trip you back in. Because you are remaining silent. You've been remaining in mystery. This is about you just moving forward and keeping your silence and not letting this person try to pull you back in with this grief anymore. Because they did enough to you already. Talk about guilt. Four swords. Continue to keep healing. This person would pull back from you and then they try to come back in here and guilt trip you. And now that you are pulling away from them and you're done, they are like running running out of tactics to try to get you back. So I keep getting that this person is trying to go towards an outside influence to try to guilt trip you back. So don't let them do that either. Tell me more about guilt. Yeah, this person feels wants you to feel guilty because you're taking off. You broke free from them. Ready to go on new adventures. Ready for new things for yourself. And this person wants to try to stop you. There you are. Taking inspired action. Enjoying what you do. There's something here about this person trying to guilt trip you. Because you want better things for yourself. That you're taking inspired action. This person wants to try to come quick moving. Trying to get your forgiveness here. But this was a non-committal player energy that, dealt, that you dealt with. They were reckless with your heart. But they were... And this, they were necessary for part of your growth as well, though, guys. So we've got to shift our perspective and start looking at things differently. So, Page of Wands. This person's hearing about your good news. This is someone that tries to use certain words to try to guilt trip you. And you're giving them no reaction, nothing. That's why they're going to try to result to using someone else to try to get at you. Some of you guys could have this person blocked, too. So this person's hearing about this new, this good news, how you're just, just doing well. And this person's feeling hurt this is somebody that's feeling betrayed by you but this is someone that did this to you though it's this person's got a victim mindset this is somebody that can't stand that you that they did all this to you and you got back up and you're doing better this person likes to create conflict and chaos this person likes to play the victim and they tell all these people about all the bad things that happened to them but they never tell the part that they did to the other people it's all about what you did to them and half the things that they say of that you did is what they did so this person's trying to figure out how to get back into your good graces. Trying to, it's like they think if they sleep with you that that's going to make everything better. There's something here about this person trying to get a reaction out of you. They don't like that you're taking inspired action and, and just wanting better for yourself. This is someone that wants your self esteem down and running. Time out trapped. Hang on, let me try that again. I'm not sure. Let me try that again. Time out trapped. Thank you. Selfish. This is somebody here that doesn't like that you're pouring into yourself. This person's trying to figure out how to get this relationship back. Whether there's marriage involved or not, they're going to tell you they want marriage now. The very, Like I said, they're very selfish and they see your wish fulfillment. Oh my gosh, they see this generational wealth that you're creating for yourself and they want to trap you. Eee. That's why they want this forgiveness because they're freaking out because they see that you're really a powerhouse when it comes to your finances and they want in on that. Trying to trap you, trying to get you to work with them again. And there's something here about this person trying to talk to people in the community to try to trap you as well. What person's holding on to you? They don't want to let go. They are very possessive, this one is. And they are trying to figure out how to get you to open up and... Uh, let, um, trying to open up forms of communication and they're, it's like I keep getting that this person's trying to use like someone on the outside to get in to your someone that you still talk to so just make sure that you're knowing who the people are around you at this time this person's trying to put you in this no forward movement they don't like it that you've broken free and that you're doing better. So they're trying to do whatever they can to try to keep you stuck so you don't move any further and they definitely don't want you to have anybody new Tell about disappointed. They're disappointed because you're successful and you have grown since this person's been away. That's what this person doesn't understand. This person done, they already did you dirty. For some of you guys, they could have done you more than one time dirty, but you're over it. And you are so focused on yourself, your growth, that this person can't get in the way of nothing that you've got going on. So all these disappointments were only leading you up to this success, guys. Tell me more. This person wants to come towards you. They are trying to figure out how to get into your good graces again. This is someone here that knows that they've got to 
because there's something here I keep getting about this person. You've got this person so I iced out of your life that they're trying to get in through someone else. So this person's wanting to come try to offer love towards you. And you're sitting over there attracting all this success, these new things towards you. That's that growth energy. This is you knowing your worth. This is you keeping your silence because not everything needs your attention. And this is you attracting anything that your heart desires and, and pulling it all towards you. Empresses don't chase, they attract. And that's what you're doing. This person's trying to get a new beginning here with you, but you are a force to reckon with. You're showing up as the Empress. So good luck to this person trying to get you back. This person's trying to put you in a mental conflict. This person wants you worrying. They want you walking on eggshells. They don't want you to know which way you're going with your life. They don't like that you've taken your power back and you've got this determination to want better. They don't like that. Oh, well. Keep healing. The more that you heal, the more that you're no longer going to let anybody disappoint you anymore. And this is about you looking at things that you went through as part of your growth too, guys. Okay? This person's not happy with whoever they chose over you. This person feels like they made the wrong choice when it comes to you. And there's something here about this person trying to... They, I keep getting this person telling this to someone else that's close to you guys. This person's trying to get you to choose them again. They want to be a choice in your life, but this person doesn't get to... They don't get to be part of your life anymore. Got air, water, Virgo, Gemini, Earth, air, Aries, fire, water, Earth, Earth, water, and Libra, Taurus here. So this person's disappointed. They're not happy because you won't put up with their bullcrap anymore. But this is somebody that did enough to you already. They're trying to come towards you with this loving energy. And they are trying to express their undying love to anybody that will listen. This person wants to tell you that they've been reflecting, they've been working on their self, but don't trust it. You have been doing this inner work on yourself. Continue to do that. The more that you do this inner work, the more that you remain unbothered and you start shifting your perspective, the happier that you're going to be. The more that you're going to attract all these beautiful things towards you. Aries, happiness hater. Well, this person doesn't want to see you happy with anything, anybody else, and they did. They I almost cussed. I was trying not to cuss. They definitely don't want to see you. They don't like seeing you happy by yourself without them, and then bring somebody new into the equation. Oh, that person's gonna, they're gonna blow a fuse. Tell me more. Somebody's not doing good financially. I'm telling you, somebody sees your finances, guys. Somebody's trying to get some kind of photo proof in your life. Somebody wants evidence. Somebody's trying to get close in your life. Somebody's been looking you up, trying to research you. It's almost like this person's trying to make it seem like they don't, that they could care less that you don't want nothing to do with them. But this person's freaking out, though. It's like they can't find anything that they're trying to get on you. They can't get anything on you. So it's almost like they're why they're trying to, to find your inner group of people that you talk to. It's only more... Ooh. Both person wanted to say that you had a bad reputation. This person it does have a bad reputation. There's something about this person trying to like backtrack what they said, what they've done here. Because it's almost like it's all catching up with them. Because the more that you grow and elevate, the more that this person's illusions are being busted. This person's an opportunist, man. This is somebody that sees all your success, your finances, and this person wants in on it. This person could have said that you were this, that you wanted to, that you were a user, that you were opportunist, but that's what they are. That's why they project it out on others. This person's played out over and over. Same outcome every time with this person. Somebody's got some bad habits. Somebody's got some addictions. Somebody's got some toxicities attached to them still. And this is someone that feels threatened that you've stepped into your growth. This is someone that likes to intimidate you. They like to threaten you. They want you to be bothered and you're not. So they're going to go as far as resolving to try to get to people on the outside of you. They'll, this person is the type that if they can't control how, if they can't control how people, it's like they want to control how everybody looks at you. Ooh, this person. This is someone that likes to start fights. This is someone that will compete with you. You're not supposed to compete with your lover. So what does this person think that it's a competition because you want growth? Are they going to try to go around and prove that they're doing this too? I mean, that's weird. That's weird. That's suspicious. 
<laughs> Sorry, I watch too much TikTok videos. Aries. Aries. Ooh, you said your goodbyes. This is like laying that old version of you to rest. So you guys could have dealt with some kind of a, a passing in your family. My condolences to you. But this person's having like, it's like you already mourned this person. You've already had their funeral that you don't feel the same for them anymore. And this person's trying to like bury this back out of the ground. Unbury it, I should say. Tell me more. Aries. Reckless love. Now, this person's still reckless. There's something about this person wanting to paint you out as be the reckless one. But keep being your true authentic self, as I always say. This person's very reckless. This one's losing sleep, yeah. Worried. Replaying events. Thinking about you. And this is to remind you what you're not missing. This person's losing sleep on how successful you're coming. Tell me more. This is a ghoster. This is somebody that's hot and cold with anybody. This is someone that ghosts. They de they detach. They don't know how to, to process their emotions, so they just detach. And this is about you detaching from this person now and, and stepping into that silence and no longer letting this person come in and out of your life anymore. It's okay when they're running away from you, but now that you're the one taking off away from them, they can't handle it. So they're trying to figure out what you got going on. Tell me more. Tell me more. Ooh, my way. A very stubborn, selfish, arrogant person that you were dealing with. <clears throat> this person said my way or the highway. You guys took the highway. Good for you. Now this person wants to try to come back here and get you in their feelings. And there's something about this person that's going around and telling anybody that will listen of how much you hurt them and how much they want you back. And you guys can make it work. And da, 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 da. That's what this person likes to do. They really like to manipulate people. And you're turning your back. That's why they're trying to go around and, and cry in anybody's ear that will listen to them. Because you're keeping your silence. Well, this person knows that it's too late to get anything back up and running with you again. You're over it. You're focused on better things. And this person's trying to cope. Trying to drink, smoke, have sex with people. Well, this person thought by secluding you that it would have like... They would have been able to gain power over you, but little did they know this blown up in their face because that's when you started reflecting and that's when you started soul searching during this separation. And that's where you gained your power and that's why you're staying silent because you know that this person doesn't deserve to hear your beautiful voice. That's Love that for you guys. Keep doing that. <clears throat> Aries. Aries beautiful you're charming you're graceful you're kind-hearted beautiful on the inside and out this person thought that your kindness was your weakness boy they're really seeing that it's really your strength it's like you can pull people in here it's like you pull people in and it's like you like strike as their karma or something here like you know how to pull people in with this like a little innocent lamb but little do they know that you're a force to be reckoned with okay i see you i see you tell me more This person's got a resistance to change. And something about this person wanting to cause you to have this resistance. This person, for somebody, not all of you, somebody admires somebody. And somebody has some secret admirers, like new energy watching you as well. Tell me more. This person loves to play the victim. Tell me more. And this is about you saying your final goodbyes. Giving yourself the closure if this person never gave you closure. This is about you just saying your final goodbye. And now this person wants to start talking about all the pain that you've caused them. What about what they did to you? And this person only cares about their feelings, guys. So this is about you no longer letting this person try to come in here and, and put all this, this guilt tripping on you. This is a very lustful energy that you were dealing with. Too much sexual energy. There's something here about this person trying to use their sexual energy to try to make that be the apology. And this person doesn't want to stop spying on you. This person's keeping a close eye on you. And they are trying to, to talk to anybody that will listen to them about you. It's like this person's got themselves in their own fantasy, guys. This is somebody here that's been trying to figure out how to get you back in this fantasy land. This is somebody that would you would talk about your dreams, your goals, and they would make fun of it. Like, you can't make that happen. No, that's, no don't listen to people like that. That's because they're, they can't do it for themselves. So they want to take it from you. This is somebody that's having an emotional storm over you. 
This person's unstable that you're no longer affected by their feelings here. Their person's having a meltdown. And now they want to try to come in here and confess something to you because they're not getting a reaction out of you anymore. And they are trying to confess to anybody at this point because there's definitely, I keep getting that this person is trying to talk to somebody else that will come in your ear and talk to you because you're obviously not going to see this person. So it's like they got to recruit to using someone else to try to get to you, if that makes sense. Sorry, guys. I don't, my messages come and I just say them as they pop into my brain. And they, they come quick. That's why I talk so fast. I mean, I can't help it. Let me get one for Aries. That's too many. Aries. <laughs> you guys are going to keep doing Let me try it again. Third time's a charm. Aries. So let me get one. All right. I'll take it. You are not moving too slowly. Drop the self-induced pressure. You are the sweet spot between taking care of yourself and still making advances on your goals. On this path, there is no such thing as behind. Behind, smile, breathe, carry on. So something about this person wanting to try to tell you that you aren't progressing, you're not going to reach your goals, and something about you also not telling yourself that you're not moving forward. You need to look back and, and see all the, the steps that you've made to get where you're at right now, guys. I know I need to do that myself. I, I catch myself doing the same thing. Take some time to rest and rejuvenate. You need to pace yourself with the changes that are coming your way. They are positive, bigger, and better things are coming for you. Just relax and trust. Absolutely. So you've got some big changes headed your way. So don't let this person get in the way of what you're doing here, guys. And a lot of it has to do with your finances. So... All right, beautiful Aries, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again, guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Light and love to you guys. See you guys later.